What is good, you guys? It's your boy Joey Sings, and welcome back to my channel for a brand new video, honey. Yes, you read the title right, you guys. We is getting back in the temperance, you guys, and he don't let a lot of random people control the whole game of Roblox, Lord. I don't know what is about to go down, but I expect the most chaos that I've ever seen in my life, honey. So listen, I'm gonna shut it on up and press play. But if you is not a backup singer, go ahead and become one. Smash that subscribe button. Just wanna hit that bell to get notified when I upload brand new videos like this. And let's get in the temperance. Lord, here we go. Alrighty, you guys. So I got the video pulled up, and let's get into this chaos. Imagine you're playing a normal Roblox game, and all of a sudden <laughs> you teleported, not for the choice. A choice between admin commands or free money for everyone. Do you give in to your selfish desires, or do you try to help the little server? We made an innocent-looking roleplay game, much like Brookhaven, and advertised it to unsuspecting players. But of course, this is no innocent game. Everything in this game has consequences. So when a player- Oh no! They'll be punished. You know, when people go too far, well, they're in for a bad time. Oh, not the back rooms? Right now, things are pretty peaceful. Some people were having stroller fights, some people were working humble jobs, and others were trying to roleplay with NPCs. <laughs> later, because you'll probably see him a lot. We'll call him Nico for short. I should mention that everything in this game is a little bit off. Like, for example, these automated cars that lose <gasps> people over. In this grocery store, which will just fall apart if you touch anything in it. What? <laughs> there are also weapons you can find in this game, with two main ways to get them. For one, you can randomly find them in dumpsters, alongside other items. Otherwise, you can find them from these smug-looking guys. So that costs money, and you have to work for money. Right. Guys. Anyways, we were getting pretty dang bored, because no one was finding weapons. So just to start out, we started laying weapons in the silly little red carpet next to spawn. After trying to harass NPCs, this guy eventually found it. And of course, the first thing he did was attack these NPCs. Oh! Just to clarify, these are not real players. They're like uh, little robots that walk around the map. Just out of ambience, I guess. These little guys have feelings, too. So whenever you attack things, the police get involved. It's Ooh. like coded it so these guys will get really mad at you if you hurt something. So don't do that. I gave them AI from the next spot I found, so they'll pretty much find you from anywhere. Oh, day. Pushed by a random card. This guy had a pretty epic battle with the policeman. Oh, shit. So all the police were defeated now. The police out of the way. The world was now in the hands of this crazed man. What will he do? Well, he lost his weapon, but we were too entertained by his madness to give up on him. So he went back to the rug, and another weapon was waiting for him. Oh, no. Wow, he really sucks at aiming. Right, no aim. Big surprise, right? And since he was wanted by the cops, he was sent to jail. Oh, oh no. When he was released, he went back to the carpet and found a weapon for a third time. And with this weapon, he would turn into a baby and start working a normal job. Oh! Give me a rope, okay? Then he chose to be a dog. Oh! He was not happy with his decision and then left. I will mention we made these pet morphs look really cool, but when you actually try to become them, it's the most inaccurate, horrendous thing. So maybe that just offended him too much. <laughs> but this guy was not the only one to go land it with power. Oh, it was just the beginning. Oh no. Oh, oh my goodness! On the flip side, this person is named Hannah. In all the potential chaos of this game, this is the purest, most wholesome person we stumbled upon. Dude, insane jump! She seemed to enjoy very simple activities. Go ahead, Hannah. The beach and riding a jet ski around in circles. We'll come back to her later. And if you remember from Ooh. earlier, this is Nico. No, man, gosh, man. <laughs> he is one of the most confusing people I've ever seen. You'll see why as the video progresses. It also had this little outhouse that locks you inside and then transports you to a deserted island. And Nico was the only one that fell for it, so enjoy his reaction. <laughs> <laughs> by Nico's behavior, so we wanted to see how he handled weapons. So we started laying them around spawn, and he found them. Instead of attacking other players, though, he specifically targeted NPCs. He seemed to have some sort of weird obsession with them. Right! Oh no! Run, Nico! Because of his attacks, he was chased by the police and sent to jail. After serving <laughs> time jail, he walk out a reformed man, ready to take on his life as a new upstanding citizen. Just kidding. He found another weapon and went back to attacking NPCs again. And also players this time. <laughs> Whoa! And he got hit by a car and was sent to jail. It was around this time we realized this guy would be the perfect candidate for the choice. Okay, oh no. We set up a little box with two options. One being free admin commands and the other being raining cold. I feel like Nico is going to pick admin. 
Nico is gonna pick admin. Nico ain't finna make it rain money on nobody. Watch, watch, I'll be right. An evil option and a good option. They both worked too. If you choose admin commands, you'll get a little panel with a bunch of ways to ruin the server. And you know, the other button rain coins. Overall, a cool little experiment to let people express. Oh, I'm excited. After seeing Nico was worthy of it, we gave him the choice and. <laughs> <laughs> he reset his character. I guess he was confused, but we weren't going to let him off the hook that easy. So we teleported him back. He had to make the choice. And he did. But before I show you what happened, let's see what other players are up to. Oh. Oh, he. Heartbroken. Dude, that's an NPC, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Have some respect. He just won't. Get out. I don't want nothing. Oh, I don't want. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mama. Mama. Hannah was just really living her best life. Eating right. A burger at a diner in a Roblox game. Like, what more can you really ask for? Okay, so back to Nico's choice. He chose Zabin commands. I knew he it. Probably could have guessed that. And with all the power in the world, he was on his way back to torment the town square. Dude! I... And he got hit by a car. And lost Damn it! You think he would have learned his lesson by now about running around moving vehicles? But I guess not. Well, once you die with Admin, it goes away. So when he respawns, he says something about thieves in Portuguese. You're only you thieves, thieves. Maybe Ooh. referring to the car that hit him. We tried it a third time, and he chose Admin commands again. I he bet. Got a nearby bus, and was on his way back to the town square. Guy's up to no good, man. Know what he's up to, but it's not good. <laughs> and he parked on the beach and left the game. Okay. What? Right, Nico, way to be difficult. Oh, he's back. He's back. But then he was back for some reason. He rejoined. Why did he? Hooray! We were hungry for something from this man, so I just keeped him back to the button. <laughs> <laughs> He walked into a hospital. Before he knew it, there were meteors raining from the sky, and he summoned zombies to infect the city. Finally, we got some sort of- Oh uh, my he goodness. He made his way back to the town square, and then he got infected by a zombie. And then, as a zombie, he just walked around and attacked people for like 10 minutes. <laughs> this guy's messed up! You got Amy! You can just turn everybody into zombies. been tormenting the server because of how difficult he'd been. It was about time he faced some sort of consequences aside from jail. So we gave him our worst, scariest punishment. Oh no. Back rooms. He had no idea what he was in for. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. That's what you do. Right. Why does he have to make everything so difficult? Anyways, he'll be back later, so don't worry. I would have ran. So when a car runs into this support beam, it collapses the entire bridge. Oh no. I didn't think anyone would do this accidentally though. So we planted a bus here in hopes that someone would take the bait. And this is what happened. He sees it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she really likes purple. Oh! A purple car in purple house. Uh, purple house, purple car. Hannah, still living her best life. Hannah is living her best life. Oh, my bad. Some weird dog wandered into her house and she made a friend of How it. How do you get here? Do you like your room? And then it Oh. And then decided to go for a little drive. Oh, Hannah's on a drive. Oh, my. Well, Nico joined back and he seemed a bit different. Actually just working normal jobs, picking apples, fishing. Good for him. Maybe he's actually learned his lesson after spending 10 seconds in a creepy room. No, he needed more than that. Once again, we are not going to let him off the hook that easy. Back to the back room. So he could oh, run. no. Yeah, he, he left again. All right. You got away this time, Nico, but you can't run forever. We were going to make sure that he paid for his crime. Nico said not me. Clarify. I'm saying we instead of I because Unequip has been a big part of the project. He's the oh, wow. Leader, and he's in the background placing the weapons and operating these events. Anyways, Nico found a gun at the dumpster and he was back to attacking NPCs again until the police arrested him. And guess what? He left to get out of jail. That little slimy rat. Oh, but don't worry. He's back. Never mind. He left again. Oh, he's back. I'd really like to know what goes on in this little creature's brain. Right. One last attempt to send him to the back rooms.
Oh no. I try to make sure that this monster is actually kind of scary. I mean, it kind of scares me. This thing is supposed it's to creepy. Like, you. like you're not supposed to just let it kill you because it's scary, right? But Nico just kept walking into it. I decided to be scary. Why aren't you scared? He made his way around and eventually passes right by the exit, indicated by this faint arrow on the wall. Of course, he missed it and he just ended up leaving instead. It wasn't really what I hoped, wow. but I guess it works. Maybe he learned something in that little brain of his. When he rejoined, he started calling the NPCs noobs. What the heck is wrong with this guy? It was around this time we noticed there was a second server of more people, so we joined to see what's up. According to Unequipped told me, this guy was attacking people with a gun he found in a dumpster, which got him in jail. This guy's name was Lau. I don't know why I was recording this lanky box looking guy, but in the background you could see that Lau discovered one of the weapon shops. Oh my goodness, this was scary. Wait, little did I know, he had bought a gun from there, which got him into a duel with the police. Then we summoned a pack of rats to attack him as well, because why not at this point? Oh, no. Definitely a little bit of a troublemaker, though. Which oh, my goodness. Which candidate for the choice. Whenever we teleported him, though, he said, no, he say nada, which means I didn't do anything in Spanish. I think he thought he was in trouble, which he was, but this was just the beginning for this guy. Of course, he chose admin commands, oh, no. but he was one of the only people who used admin commands to their fullest potential. <laughs> Oh my goodness! He's the one crazy. <laughs> Rack it up that coin. Oh my gosh. He then reset to change his avatar, which got rid of the admin. And this is the perfect opportunity to send him to the back rooms for all the chaos he just caused. Oh no! He was pretty much just as stubborn as Nico was, and he rejoined. Okay, so that would have been the end of the back rooms, and that was pretty much the only other time we used it. But there was one situation I should talk about. Me, uh... I'll call him Ralph. Oh Ralph no. Ralph the typical evil player. A troll even. However, he turned out to be a bit of a shady fellow who had been stalking our dev account for months. Blah blah blah. Kind of a long story. So I'll have his username blurred out. But he still has some fun moments that I really couldn't let go to waste. So at one point, Ralph was thrown into the back rooms. Here's why we banished him there. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Surprisingly, he managed to escape. When escaping, you can take him back to spawn and you're free to go from there. But soon something happened that we were entirely unprepared for. Something I hadn't accounted for when making the backrooms was that the monster could also escape the backrooms through the exits. Which, shortly after Ralph's escape, it escaped as well since it was chasing close behind him. So yeah, I messed up, but it was a complete accident. And it kind of just tormented the server for Oh me. my- <laughs> But Ralph was the one that caused this mess and he was going to be the one to fix it. the help of this random fella, Ralph finally slayed the monster and saved the whole server. So even though we don't like Ralph, I'll acknowledge how cool the situation was. Anyways. <laughs> Anna! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, you better get out the way again! Whoa! Oh my <laughs> goodness! Everyone get in! They is big- <laughs> This person somehow got a kid out of this situation. <laughs> oh my goodness, the chaos. Nico and ended up in the same server together. Nico had found a weapon, and he was back at it. Oh no. NPCs, as well as this player. And then Lau showed up. So Nico was attacking this woman, and then Lau shoots the crowbar out of his hand into this girl's hand. Wait, what? Then the girl starts attacking Lau, and he shoots it out of her hand and uses it to kill her. Oh, what? That was just disrespectful, man. It was around this time that other players in the server had found a weapon shot. Oh, no. starting to get weapons. Nico has a gun again. But despite so many people with weapons, things are pretty tame. Until the Great Dog War. The, the Great the dog, dog War. War. Spawn that'll attack anyone in the pet store. Did he leave? <laughs> After someone oh back, no! Peyton stepped in to save the day. Peyton was someone that had been saving up a lot of money and could now buy a lot of weapons. So she sat there, ready to take on any aggressive dog that spawned in at any moment. <laughs> oh no, Peyton! <laughs> and she lost terribly. But no matter. She was back at it with the hammer. Let's go, Peyton! 
No, you're not getting admin. Don't mind my terrible camera shot here. But yeah, Peyton lost again. Oh, but damn it. it. She's not going to let any pesky dogs right. ruin her day. Let's so get this shit, Peyton. <laughs> and again. Well, actually, no, she took her anger out on this innocent cat person that was just sitting on the sidewalk enjoying her day. Looks like the dogs really got to her. She would stay out of the pet store from then on. Day, the dogs definitely way. Because of that innocent cat thing she killed, she encountered the police and was thrown in jail. Around the same time, Lau also got arrested. Oh Those no! Two criminals were actually trying to work together to escape jail, and it worked. <laughs> Granted, it only saved them about two seconds, but it's a thought that counts. Lau would actually take his leave after escaping jail. But whether he's gone for good, you'll have to find out later. Cool. Oh shit! <laughs> Stop eating your chicken. Ew. Stop. Yeah. After all this, right. Mexico was still playing. It had been hours at this point. I wanted to give him one last opportunity to redeem himself. Come on, Nico. Okay. Nick. Nico. Okay. Well, not really a surprise, is it? So around this time, we started to wrap up the recording. While we were shutting down the advertisements, I noticed some random player in this mountain. Their name was Puppy Lover. I'm in the final stages of editing this video, Ooh. and I just realized I called this girl Puppy Lover the entire time. But her name clearly says Puppy Elsa. Well, let's be real, it works <laughs> because she probably does love puppies given her name. Wait, you guys want to hear the birds outside? Hold on. Isn't that cool? Anyways, it anyway. was Puppy Lover, a pretty innocent and lost player that seemed to have one goal, to climb up this mountain. Why? I'm not really sure, but I have an idea. If you notice at the top here, there's a little party area with snacks, confetti, and music. Aww. Maybe they saw this and wanted to be a part of it. The Tempest. Why is this even here? So, the whole concept of this game, and the choice, was to reward good behavior and punish bad behavior. When people choose admin commands, they become mean and then they're punished with the back rooms. But when they chose oh. they will be rewarded with this cute little party area. Yay! But we tested countless people, and everybody chose admin commands. Even Hannah. So this little party Oh, place Hannah! Unused and I'm upset, so Hannah. Puppy Lover went it up there, and she was determined. So I helped her. Oh. This is the sweetest. I love this. What in the chaos is about to happen when she get up here? This is too cute. That is the cutest. So I let her up and then she froze. We then placed another trampoline in front of her and she enjoyed that trampoline just as much as the first one. She then went to go see if the first trampoline was still there and she was so stunned by the existence of two trampolines that she just froze up and left. <laughs> Now, the video would have ended there, and this is where we stopped recording and got offline for a few hours. But when I got back on later that night, I noticed there was still one person playing the game, and that one person was Lau. I was pretty curious as to what he was to do, so I joined him, and it quickly became clear. Lau was searching every corner of the map, every dumpster, and even found a secret room that we had made. And in the chat, he was spamming random commands. He was looking for answers. I guess there really was no explanation for anything that happened, and he was trying everything he could to replicate it. Aww. I crashed into this bridge to try to get his attention, but he just looked over this hill and left, with all his questions unanswered. I can't help but feel like he was unsatisfied with things. Aww. Perhaps he was just curious, but after everything he went through, after having ultimate power over an entire server, he seemed to just want more. At this point, you're probably wondering, how was Hannah even relevant to anything going on? Or Puppy Lover, that little mountain climber? Well, they really weren't, but that's why I included them. They were pretty much the complete opposite of Lau or Nico. I, I love it! Them. They took the evil route. They abused their power and had a lot of fun doing so, but at the expense of others. Which is totally okay, by the way. It's what we expected, and it was really fun. But Puppy Lover and Hannah used a bit of creativity to play the way they wanted to. They didn't need weapons or some admin panel. Right! Before. They just used their imagination to shape their own little unique adventures. And they had so much really fun. Enjoyed. The most fun and memorable moments I've had with my friends when we're screwing around, setting up little creative bits and scenarios. I want everything really short but the side birds. Alright. Oh, <laughs> you have to play games the way they're meant to be played. A little bit of imagination can make all the difference. Oh my yeah, goodness. Way too long. I'm sorry about that. But I hope you enjoyed. You I enjoyed every bit yourself. of it. You've updated it a ton. Obviously, there's no admin and weapons are less accessible, but there's still so many fun things to do in the game. So give it a try if you're bored. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll, I'll make sure the next one does not take this long. <laughs> Yo, this was amazing. Did you find the toothy deer hit it in this video?
What deal? See, now I'm gonna have to go rewatch the video and look for the deal, honey. I am here for this. All of this. Period.